hope everyone's doing well this week. And here I know in Florida we're enjoying a little bit cooler weather. So I hope y'all are getting some nice weather also. But anyways, let's go on and get into our card. So this week I thought it would be fun to make an accordion card. This is what it looks like standing up. And you can move it in and out, move it closer, further apart. And you can do how many ever rings you would like. And I have made smaller ones before too. And you can switch this all up and do all kinds of neat little things with it. Also this week I thought it would be fun to go over and show y'all how I create things in design space and walk you through it that way. So why don't we go ahead and head over to design space and I'll meet you there. Okay guys, now that we're over here in design space, if you got it opened up, the first thing we're going to do is grab us a circle. And this right here is what we're going to be creating. So our first circle, I'm going to change my color real quick. We are going to make it 5 inches up in the width and it should change the height to 5. And then we're going to go ahead and right click and duplicate and then we're going to make our second circle 4 inches. So once we have those two, we're going to grab them both and notice how I keep working over here in my corner because I want my X and my Y always to be on zero. Boom, grab. We're going to hit center. And then we can just go ahead over here to the bottom right and hit the slice. And we can get move these two circles. Now, while we have these two circles, let's go ahead and make this peach colored ring here. So take one of our circles that's left over and we're going to change that to 4 and 7 eighths of an inch, which is 4.875. And then this other circle here, we're going to change to 4 and a quarter. And then we're going to move that to the back. And then we're going to grab both of them. We're going to center it. And then we're going to hit the slice button. And then once I have that, I'm just going to change it so I know my orange is going to be my pretty stuff that I want pretty paper for. Excuse me. And then this circle here, let's go ahead and make that while we have a circle here on the screen. And it is going to be three and a quarter. So we can just go up and change that to three and a quarter. I'm going to change my color real quick so I know the difference. And then I'm going to group those two together and just move them to the side for now. We have our two pretty pieces done. We're going to go ahead and work on making the circle in the center and having that where it's connected to this ring here. So we can go ahead and duplicate a circle. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to change the size of it. And we're going to make this circle three and a half inches. And let's go ahead and make sure it's centered. So grab them both, hit align and center. Okay, so we're going to go to shapes and we're going to grab a square. 
and we want to make the square a half an inch which is 0.5 so we have that let's go ahead and duplicate it because we're going to need two of them so let's grab them both and come over here and we're going to select everything and we're going to center it now we're only going to work with one right now but we want to make sure they're just centered so click on one of your purple squares or my purple square over here and I'm going to click on it I'm going to go ahead and move it up to where my square is over both of the circle and then the ring one up it's the X is at 2.25 and my Y I put at a half an inch now the same thing with this we're going to keep it at 225 and we're going to move it down let's try four inches and see where that places it yeah that works so we just have it over it where they're both touching now let's go ahead and duplicate the tab one more time so grab a square and then we're going to unlock it at the top on the size we're going to make it one and a quarter inch by a half an inch and this is going to be our tab right here so I don't mess anything up I'm going to group this together because if I don't it's going to center these two again send this forward now let's grab it hit align and center and then we can go ahead and ungroup this if you want now that we have this centered we're going to keep the Y at 225 but I think four and a half would probably line it up pretty good so let's try that four and a half for your X yeah that works so now that we have these three pieces here we're not going to weld anything else to, to it so what we can do is go ahead and select these items that we have up here in the corner and we can go over and hit weld and then we have created our ring with the circle in the middle now what we need to do is make this so it is able to open and shut I like to get me a score line and place it in the middle But if we go and select it and hit a line, it's not going to put it at two and a half because of this tab. So the center to keep everything lined up is two and a half. So I like to keep a score line here so I can see what I'm working with. And I also like to blow my screen up so I can see if we're lining things up. So let's go ahead and get a cut line because this line that's going to go from this to the score line is going to be a cut line so we'll have to get a score line and then we're going to go up to operation and change it to a basic cut line then we're going to go up to nine rotate and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees So if you remember when we made this box, this box we made a half an inch by half an inch. So we know from this point to this point is going to be a quarter of an inch. So that's what we'll need to change our height to for the cut line. So 0 0.25 and then we Two and a half we know is the center, so we'll make the X 2.5. And then let's move it up to a half an inch and see where that puts us. Almost, but not quite. Let me pull it up a little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about. See, it's not quite 
needs to be moved down just a little. So let's try point five one four. There we go. That looks nice. Now if I really blow it up, you guys can see how much closer it is to that line there. So let's go over to our layers and duplicate that line. And now we, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to put this line down here. So we know the center is 225, so let's change it to 225 for the X. And then this, mine ended up being right where I want it, is 0.764 is where I would like that line to stay. Because that looks spot on. So since we have that, I'm going to go over and duplicate the line again. Now on this one, we're going to do it opposite. We want this line to be on the bottom and this line to be on the top. So we know two and a half is the center, which mine's on two and a half. And let's try four and a half. Let's see what that lines up. Four and a five. Not quite. So let's try four point two three six. Well, that's perfect for that side. So let's go ahead and just rotate this to that side. This one lined up well at the X on 2.25 and then our Y on 4.236. So let's duplicate that. And now we're going to move it to our bottom. <laughs> and that lined up perfect. So 2.5 for the X and for the Y it ended up being 4.486 okay now for our score line for this one I'm just going to take and use this one so we know that this is going to be a quarter inch in height so 0.25 then the X is going to be at two and a half and your Y is going to be at 0.514. And we want to make sure that's a score line. So let's go ahead and just duplicate the score line. And we can go down and move it down to here. So let's do the Two and a half. And let's try four point two three six. And there we have it. Perfect. Zoom this out a little. Now over here we need a score line so when we connect our rings together we'll be able to fold it on the score line. So let's just go ahead and duplicate the score line. And it's going to be a half an inch long, so let's go up and change that in our height. Let's bring it over here. And then we're going to put the X on 5 and let's try the Y on two and one fourth of an inch. It looks good. Okay, we have these all lined up in in place. But what's going to happen is we need to cut this bottom off. Okay, so with or all of these lines here it is not going to allow us to slice 
So what we can go up to is go up to our layers and just go ahead and hide all of these. Now to slice the bottom, let's go ahead and grab a square. And it doesn't really matter on the size. Just make it long enough so it's you're able to cut off the bottom. This I did 5.167 and in height I did it at 1.444. And we're going to make sure the X is on zero. And then for the Y, we're going to add 4 and 3 fourths of an inch. Now we're going to grab them both and we're going to hit slice. Now we have this nice little edge right here. I'm going to get rid of these two, but I want to keep this one because I'm going to use it again for my ring. But before we move on to our ring, let's go back over to our layers and open. all of our score and cut lines again. Now you might not see it if you don't see it like I don't see mine. Just highlight it and then right click and send it to the back. Now they're all here. And since they're all here let's grab everything and hit attach. And it's all there. So since we've already made our ring, let's go ahead and ungroup it, get our ring, send it to the front if you need to. Now because this will not center because of this tab, I'm going to show you, see how it makes off center line it up and center it to the best of your ability inside your ring. <clears throat> and then once you're happy with it, I'm going to hide my ring. I'm going to take my rest of my square that I have and rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm going to move it up to make sure it's on zero on my X. And once we have it here, I'm going to place mine on my X on zero and then my Y on 4.805. And then I'm going to grab both of them and hit slice. And we can move this down. And let's go ahead and unhide our ring. And see. I like that. I like a little edge down here. So I'm good with that. And then we have our move this to the front and forward. We can get rid of this. Don't forget to name your file and save it. And then we can go ahead and make how many ever of these that you would like to make. I'm going to make four today. And the orange is going to be my pretty paper on what I'm cutting it in. So go ahead and get yours cut out and then I'll meet you back over here so we can start putting it together. You should have your things all cut out from design space and like I said I was gonna do four of the rings so I got my border cut out my four um, pretty circles cut out and my four accordion pieces we're gonna put together so let's go ahead and get into this so I can show you how you put it together So one of the important things to remember when you are putting these together is you want to make sure this is lined up with your bottom and your tab is going the opposite way of this tab because 
of course you want to tab on every side so I just turn mine like so and get it nice and lined up as straight as possible get my glue I'm just gonna continue on with my other ones. And there we have it guys, our four rings. So I did accidentally put one of my rings on here. That's okay. Things happen. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put my decorative circles on here. So all you're going to do is take your glue and then line it up like so and then place it on there. Now that we have our rings done, I'm going to go ahead and take my decorative pieces and stick them on the center. Alright, so now that we have that on, this is what it's looking like. You can turn them whichever way. But before I start turning these, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my decorations on the center of my circles. I got those, my things I'll put on. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and work your little tabs up here so whichever way you'd like them now you can leave it just like this and let them set it up however they would like or you can take a sheet of scrap paper and we can connect them like I did on this one see I have those connected right here in this tab you can connect all of them you can connect two of them whichever you would like so this is about a half an inch wide and you only need enough. I'm not even gonna measure, but I'll do one. Do it an inch, about an inch. And depending on how many you wanna use, I'm gonna cut Four of these and you could make this in design space but it, <clears throat> excuse me it's not really a big deal to me so when you decide however you want them so I think for mine for these first two I want them touching like so Okay, 
So what you're gonna do is fold these together like so. And you can actually go ahead and put glue on one side. The important part is that it's lined up straight. Your two inner circles. So you can go ahead and just place one side down. And then once you have it on, I just pick mine up and slide it through my little hole here and then just crease it and that will be my score line see how I've just folded it over like so then I'm going to turn it back to this side lay it flat just like so open your tab up Make sure you just keep the glue on your tab. And then fold it over. And if you wanted to, if the tabs bother you, you could cut another pretty circle and put it on the back so it's not going to be seen. So now let's open our card back up. And there you have it. I have my two, oh, I don't think you can see it. There we go. I have my two connected how I want it right here. Can you see it like so? Let me do it from the back. And you can see from the back how it's connected right here. So if you wanna glue this one to your next one, You need to line it up however you want it. So I want to make sure they're going the right way. And you want to make sure your circles are the ones that are lined up. Let's open it up. And there you have it. You have the third one connected. So if you want to connect the fourth one, we can go ahead and get one of our little tabs we cut. Put them together. So this is what mine turned out like. Let me turn it up so y'all can see it. We could do all kinds of different creative things with this accordion card. And you know, it's really simple. We just can fold it up like so and put it in an envelope. And on the back of any one of these, you can write your message to the person and then it just unfolds like so. And I just thought it, it was just a really cute idea to make an accordion card without a die. And now you know how to make it and you can make them any size now in design space. And I just think it's so cute. Guys, I just wanna say thanks for crafting with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.